Hello. How's it going? I like to keep the uh, preview pane for OBS on the correct scene so that I can see at a, out of the corner of my eye whether or not the um, eye tracker is working because chat covers the game window to be able to put it where I want on the program side. So basically I... Uh, What do you mean I didn't have that? Okay, I guess. Alright, so. Today. We're gonna be, uh. We're gonna be trying to gather some heroes. Alright, let's zoom out a little. There are quests all over the place. But. I want to go to the big map, right? I want to go back to Asia. Because there are quests here that we were not able to access earlier. I'm going to... S mm, I still can't access that one. So maybe I go for the story-related one first. That might be the better play, to be honest. <laughs> um... Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll go for the story-related hero first. Because he gives me a thing that I need. Also, I went and, uh, made some extra stuff. Which I don't think... Yeah, no. Noah doesn't want any of it. Alright. So I made extra gems, I made higher levels of some of the ones that we had, and such. But, here's what everybody has. Senna still has that arts... thing. You can only have one stance active at a time. Ooh. I just realized how dumb this is. Dark banner. Dark banner it is. Why do you have... I don't get... What? Okay. Interlink. Arts. Oh, did I learn a new art? I guess I learned a new art. Okay. Anything else? No? Okay. Cool. We're gonna go to the expansion pass. And we are going to grab the adventure support pack, which has some expendable items, some accessories, and some, some clothing. Receive all. Also going to grab a uh, new hero, this one. The contents of this one, which has Champion of the Napon and Challenge Battles. You've received all available contents. So, Volumes 1 and 2. Which... I definitely want to go to the Champion of the Napon, because that is our first instance of a DLC blade that I can't do yet, because I don't have main story progress. Okay, we're gonna main story progress. I guess I should stop second-guessing myself. Oh, I guess I should show <laughs> the clothes, right? So... Noah got Noah Color 2, which is a recolor of his base class, the Sword Fighter. I, I kind of like the blue. I don't like the yellow, but I like the blue. Mio's is Mio Color 2, which is a black and purple of her Zephyr class. 
Unis is a red and kind of orange for the highlight of her jacket of her um, medic gunner. Scions is a recolor of his tactician. Lands is a recolor of his heavy guard. And Senna's is a recolor of her ogre. I'll figure out what cosmetics I want to use at some point, but for now, eh. 10% chance to keep recharge when using an art. Reduce aggro towards self by 5% when auto attack hits. When your attacks are blocked, you're not thrown off balance. Uh, boost attack by 25%. Boosts healing by 25%. Boost max HP by 25%. Some decent accessories came too. But yeah. We have to progress the story to do the DLC blade. Just something I was a little worried about, but eh. Can't say I'm too torn up over it. Can always use a little bit more of uh, class points for uh, their current classes, because I think everyone is at rank 1 except Senna, who's at rank 2. Okay. <sighs> One of the quests that I would like to at least start today involves uh, one of a fan favorite uh, attacker class that pairs very well with Uni. <laughs> so if she wasn't a tank right now, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have her on that. Personally, I went through my first playthrough with everybody just having one of the base classes. I didn't really uh, go too crazy with the customization. But to be frank, you can get through at least the main story with almost any build. <laughs> Which is true to the Xenoblade way. <laughs> wow, you actually fought me. I'm surprised that it actually wanted to fight me. Really? Okay. Good cheat. Okay. Alright. Where were we? Not to worry. Just oh, Chris. I'm still on the side. Damn it. Try that again. And I was the MVP. You were all thinking it. No lands. No, we weren't. I love the battle theme, but good god. Please. Good God.
Oh my god. Uni, are you okay? Uni's very slow as a tank. Oh my lord. Okay. Either tank, please. Okay, give me my Napon coin. We're unstoppable with you around, Senna. Thank the flame, I'll finally be free of this egos wilderness. Oh, hey, I just realized I left something back at four, so. I gotcha. Hmm. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> what kind of place is that? Zem's Crossway. Plenty to still explore, but I think I do need to progress the story to make any uh noticeable progress on hero questing, so we do need to do a little bit, unfortunately. What did I pick up? Welcome to the Rivy Flats. Champion of the Napon, head to the specified locations. Great Idala Ravine. Excellent. This means I can actually make progress. Hang on. Is this the right way? Absolutely not. <laughs> Who's my Zephyr? Tyon. My boy, come here. There we heal. Senna is not in range. Good to know. Yes, I shaved earlier. Because I knew it was going to be hot as hell out. I'm in the wrong spot. Mm. How did I know it was Senna who was pulling aggro? Hmm. There is a point, I don't know if it's an accessory, or an ability, or or what it is, but you can start a battle with all of your master arts full. Mimi, if we keep going this way, we'll end up in the desert. Yes, that's exactly what I want, Senna. I'd better send them off. Plenty of enemies here that are stronger than us. This is our first time here, isn't it? Welcome to the Great Idala Ravine. Exactly where we need to go for this DLC quest. Oh, it's gonna give us an intro cutscene, isn't it? Yeah. 
Welcome to the Dana Desert. God, you need slow. <laughs> Too easy. Come after me, and that's what you get. <sighs> if only you didn't charge off on your own. Under attack from a pack of monsters. I could have told you that. Come on, Noah. Yeah. Huh? Dana Arachno. We have a few of these to deal with. What do you mean I missed? Hey. Hey now. How's this thing not dead yet? There we go. Wait, why are you- okay. Sure. I bet you somebody was gonna die and that's what it was. So if they're about to die, one of the AIs will, uh, spawn an interlink because you- you don't take damage. Cheerio soon will offer special bacon savers discount. Promise. Um, excuse Eno. Eno just wanted to ask if, 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 if not too much bother. Was it perhaps that it was friends that? That help, you know, help those nonpods? Right. We happened to be passing by and saw you all in trouble, so. Oh, he don't knew it! Courage to select wicked monsters! To offer aid to total stranger pods! Humans like friends are very reason for inventing word hero pod, uh, or whatever is human equivalent! You know, moves beyond limits of expression. Cannot possibly give voice to such violent, overpowering emotion as Eno feeling! Uh, that seems a little dramatic. All we did was help you out in a scrap. Well, all it means is that we did well to give her assistance. By the way, your outfit looks quite unusual. Which side are you affiliated with? Uh, what is the meaning of affiliated, please? Let's try a different tack. Are those Nopon from before your friends? Judging by their manner of speech, I would surmise that they were already previously familiar with you. Affirmatory! All Nopon who live wild and free, Eno counts each and every one as friends! And with good reason! Eno gained double name by fight for universal Nopon love and peace! Eno is champion of all! Well, Sparks, that sounds, uh, Brill? 
yeah, let's go with Brill. So what you're saying is, the reason you helped those knock-on from earlier is because you see yourself as their champion. Correct, for a soup and Didi doodles. That is why Ino must restore self to previous strength so Ino can accomplish duty which Grandmaster Fong gave to. <gasps> oh, snap crackers! What's the matter? Ino was just on verge of forgetting. Ino came here in search of high ether. High ether? What's that? Well, it, it basically Ino on hunt for scavengeables. Must therefore hurry up and get on with search and retrieval. You're going to search this place all alone. This area is teeming with dangerous monsters. Any chance we can offer you a hand? Meh. Sorry, did Ino hear right? Fred proposed to help Ino for a second time? Huh? Yes, I suppose I did. No, 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 no way! That's completely unprecedented! Friends concern helps the well-being of not only Nopon, but even Ino? Flabber of Ino utterly gasped it, got thoroughly smacked. Ino lacked capability to show deserved amount of proper respect. Consider your gob thoroughly smacked. I'm already over a shtick. Well, then. Pleased to be working with you. Shall we just call you Eno? Is that alright? Sure! But Eno not even introduced self yet! How Fred no name of Eno? It's not like you're talking about yourself in third person. Um. This girl's got a lot going on, huh? <laughs> On the outside, and in as well. Eno has temporarily joined the party. <laughs> Can you pinpoint where the high ether is, Eno? Eno getting readings from hereabouts. Must be somewhere nearby for definite. Okay. Let's All head over there. We now have Eno in the party. Eno is a defender, which is phenomenal, and apparently has break, because uh, Senna is the only main party that has it. I mean, I'm happy to have more break in the party. Absolutely wonderful. God, Eno is so loud compared to everybody else. What do you mean, miss? God damn it. Hear that, Noah? Lance brought something a bit meatier. Hear that, Noah? We can't leave it like this. Noah, where is your flute? Also because he, yeah, I didn't knew it. Maybe he didn't hear it, but Yeesh. There are plenty of monsters here to fight. Oh. Can very easily uh deal with levels. Oh wait, I'm playing as a tank. Or I'll rock the cutscene. Hey, what's that shiny thing? It's Ether Sphere, and high ether that Eno's searching for contained with inside. Hmm. Well, we can't get near it like this. We'll have to take care of the monsters around here first. <sighs> A Yipsil battle. Yes, Jordan, it would be a Yipsil battle. I hate you. Well, Eno, are you ready? Eno was created ready! 
Right on. Let's make it quick then, yeah? Hmm. Alright, fight time. Why is Noah holding the aggro? What the actual shit game? I have three tanks in the party, why? <laughs> oh god. We're doing this again, huh? Yeah, let's heal everybody. Oh, Lance is dead. Brilliant. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck! Oh, we have a problem now. Oh, but Lance got up! Oh, Lance is okay. Okay, cool. Random buff to the party. My tanks are not good tanks, I've noticed. Have you noticed? Because I've noticed. <laughs> yep, still battle, fuck you. Whoa, boy! Good god. Is Uni dead? Uni's dead. Fine. Can't touch me if I evade it. I'm dying. Can I have a healer, please? No, I can't because the healers are dead. Hey! <laughs> okay. Who's still alive? Senna's still alive! Good job, Senna! Oh my god. I can't believe I survived that. It's ether, all right. Exposed to the surface. Looks similar to a regular ether channel, but the energy density is off the charts. I suppose we could harvest the energy, rather this high ether, into an ether cylinder as normal? Maybe. Want me to take a stab? No. No! This is a sis! What's wrong, Ina? You cannot harvest high ether with baseline cylinder? Our friend's kidding? Did she just DMCA uni? <laughs> I beg of you, occupational safety is no joking matter. Is there something else we could use then? <gasps> you know how just the ticket can use this. For to harvest high ether safely, can use this here HD Ether Cylinder Plus. Incidentally, HD stands for handy dandy. Handy dandy. Um, okay. It's my handy dandy notebook. I guess it does suggest some improvement on the classic ether cylinder design. Indeed, and its simplicity belies a high degree of efficacy bestowed by the added refinements. Well then, no time like present! Friend can go ahead and collect high ether now! Huh? You want me to do it? His very rare chance for opportunity! Eno do not mind letting Noah do honors! Please, be guest of Eno! It's definitely not going to explode, is it? Alright 
right then. You only live once. Let's give this a go. Filling the HD Ether Cylinder Plus. Collecting a certain amount of high ether from ether spheres will award you with a filled HD Ether Cylinder Plus. You can only harvest an ether sphere once all of the enemies in its vicinity have been defeated. The enemies you'll need to defeat will be marked with an icon. Once the enemies are down, approach the ether sphere and press A to begin harvesting. One or more unharvested ether spheres detected. When you harvest an ether sphere, you may sometimes receive a hint about the location of other ether spheres that you haven't harvested yet. Ether sphere locations are displayed on the area map. To be precise, you'll be able to see ether spheres in previously discovered areas, as well as those hinted at while harvesting other ether spheres. Right. That seems to have done it. Will this do? Please, go ahead. Uh... What the... Wow. That hit all the right <sighs> spots. Did... Did she just drink the cylinder? Please tell me I hallucinated that. Eno, what did you just do? Head into the main menu, Characters, Eno, Eno Swap, to reach the Eno Swap menu where you can spend HD Ether Cylinder Pluses to enhance Eno's capabilities. Right. Let's give it a go to Characters. Let's go to Eno, and go to Eno Swap. Select Dual Flash as the art to strengthen. Use HD Ether Cylinder Pluses to strengthen Eno. Unlock higher upgrade tiers by finishing Eno's Ascension Quest. Unfortunately, that used all of the Ether Cylinders we had. Or Ether Cylinder Pluses that we had. Look! Snippity snap and ta-da! Capabilities of Eno power up greatly! Oh, that is pretty impressive. No, hold your ponyos! That's impossible! This is all highly irregular. What in the world are you? Really? <laughs> We're finally at the right question! Eno is creation of Nopon, legendary Grandmaster Bon Susu, final bestest and most strongest of all artificial blade! Huh? Wait, blade? You mean like our blades? The ones we fight with? You what? This is making less sense by the minute. You're saying you're an anthropomorphic blade? Is that it? So she's actually a human blade? Hmm. That's fishy. Real fishy. Hmm. understand it this artificial blade business still one thing's abundantly clear earlier well before we ever turned up you were protecting the Nopon caravan you fought for them and you did it all by yourself that takes real courage seeing that convinced me <sighs> 
I believe what you said, Ina. Driver? Frame closes, Eno, and say weapon too! This proof cannot be mistaken! Fred is driver of Eno! Wait, wait, slow down. Can you explain what you mean when you say driver? Eno more than happy to. Definition of driver is human person who fight by side of Eno. Crucial. Only Driver can draw out Vesta's truest power of blade. Eno want to get stronger and stronger for Nabon peace and happiness. Uh, okay, let's all take a deep breath now. You know that's not really what this means. I it's actually, well, oh, how should I explain this? There's a little more to it than what you're thinking. Uh, actually, if Eno may. Eno always thought, if Eno get driver, Eno decided in deepest corner of heart. Eno would ask to call driver, Master Bond. Therefore, Eno would love nothing more than to be permitted to address friend as M -M Master Bond. Uh, Noah, if you're gonna say something, you should probably say it now, or else the ship will sail. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, but you said you trusted her, didn't you? Seems like an open and shut case to me. Are we all fine with this? Eno, this driver of yours, is that like a partner of sorts? <gasps> that right! According to Grand Master Bond, drivers and blades were originally one in body and soul! Got it. Well, look, I'm not sure if I can be all of that to you and meet all your expectations, but if you'll have me, I'll be your driver. Dooey! Truly, really, very truly. Yeah, truly. You're one of us now, Eno. Yes! Master Bond! For all Nabon that inhabit world, Eno and Fred will fight good fight! I feel like I should say, just for the record, our objective is not strictly to go around getting random Nopon out of trouble. Huh? Meh? Is not? Come to think of it, we never did introduce ourselves, did we? We might not have. Right. Then I guess maybe we should get started on that. Quest complete. Champion of the Nopon. Eno, an artificial blade, has become the party's ally. Continue to gather high ether and make Eno stronger to further her ambitions. New hero added, Naponic Champion, Eno, with Noah as her class inheritor. Class, Naponic Champion, Roll Defender. Gains perks by evading attacks, rewarding skillful use of evasion arts. Also become stronger after getting KO'd. Ah, Eno, just remember! Master Pond, there was an important thing that Eno was forgetting. What is it, Eno? It have to do with HD Cylinder Plus that Eno gave to Master Pond. According to the Grandmaster Pond, Cylinder conceal yet more hidden power. Really, getting our Nopon's worth out of this one, eh? Yes, to release true power, however, it needs further level of upgrade. What happens once we release it? Only good things, and many. We're able to bag bags of high ether and make Eno whole load stronger. 
In other words, it would improve the cylinder's technical specifications. I see. So anyway, Eno wanted to ask Master Bond to also help improve Cylinder in parallel to while looking for Ether Spheres. Right, sure thing, you know. How do we go about doing that, then? HD Cylinder Plus is a highly specialized product made with proprietary Nopon technology. Therefore, best bet is to request revamp of certified Nopon technician. Well, Riku's right here, so... Hm. Riku already got wings full with blade and gem maintenance, so would like to pass buck on this one. Oh, so that's your excuse. Sure, pal, if you say so. What other Nopon connections do we have? How about those caravan Nopon we helped out before? An android suggestion meal. They may yet remain nearby. Well then, shall we have a look around? Roger will go pawn, says Eno. <laughs> and she's part saying. <laughs> once harvested, Ether Spheres will disappear, but they'll reappear in the same spot once enough time has passed. Note that the yield will decrease after the initial harvest. Sunny and Cheerios Nopon Caravan, whom the party assisted, is staying at the Fornest Region's Namba Mound Camp. You can improve your HD Cylinder Pluses there. Using improved HD Cylinder Pluses uh, uh, allows you to obtain more high ether from each ether sphere. We're going up in the world. Well, for now, let's head off and try to upgrade the uh, thingamabob. I'm glad that it didn't automatically set me to, uh, Eno's class, because I do want to still level up the, um, Flash Fencer. I forgot its name for a minute. <laughs> so, I just want you to, to, hang on. Hang on. I'll do this after the battle. When did this release? October. So the game came out in July. This DLC came out in October. And so most people will have finished the game, possibly played New Game Plus by the point that this released. Obviously I hadn't played Xenoblade 2 yet, but one of the reasons that I didn't want to jump into 3 very quickly is because I wanted to make sure all of the DLC was out by the time I streamed it. Because I didn't want an instance of, oh, we played through the game, and then there's new DLC. So let's go play this game we haven't played in six months to go what to go play the DLC. No, I wanted it to just be we one straight run. Exactly. We'll do it together, Santa. Anyway, we go months, several months without any real um addition, no real mention, and then suddenly, oh, Noah's a driver now. Lance, you're dead. Why are you dead? Mio, why are you dead? <laughs> Mio, stop dying, please. You dumb fuck. And then, like you said, she's, she works similarly to a Saiyan where she gets back up stronger than she was before.
She's actually not as strong as you think. Not at first, anyway. Okay, this party comp is not doing well. I've noticed. The healers can't seem to stay alive. The defenders can't seem to keep aggro. And I feel like it's all because of, uh... Lands being a bad fit for Tactician. At least partially. Everybody's alive, let's go. By the way... Did you know? You probably didn't because we haven't used it yet. But... Heroes will show up in chain attacks. Which can either be a blessing or a curse, depending on, uh... How, uh... How helpful their effects are. And how lucky you get with spawning new... Or spawning the, uh... Land that you want. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright. She does have break, I thought so. Self KO up after glow. That gave me exactly 99. You're kidding me. Alright, go subjugate this stupid thing. I think I am going to rearrange the party after this, though. I don't know which attack was going to do the more damage. God, Uni is very slow as Lance's class. That's probably part of why we're having so much trouble. reorganize the party to make shit work better. Maybe I'll make Noah the defender class. Friend Sunny! Friend Cheerio! Meme, it Ino Ino. Sunny, please, let's punch that Ino Ino grace caravan with presents so soon. We just get in fresh new shipment of yummables and nummables. Only too happy to share. Many thankings! We'll have to ask Master Pond for shopping Bonanza later. But actually, Ino come today to discuss a separate issue with friend Sunny. Oh, what might be? Is there perhaps technician and caravan of friend Sunny that know how to improve HD cylinder, HD ether cylinder plus? Oh, ho, ho, ho. two years of Sunny deceive. You know, you know, mentioned that fabled apex of Napon technological achieve HD cylinder plus plus. Fabled, he calls it. Hum, hum, hum. Yes, now Sunny understand assignment. Then please can make use of service of helper of Sunny named Totoma. 
He admittedly a bit of strange and lewd, lacking in gab and friendly patter, but nevertheless skilled in caravan mechanic. Friend Totoma memorized. Thankings for referral, friend Sunny. And also, while we flapping chops here, please do accept this, you know, you know. Sunny's sampler set. Sunny just happened to have necessary materials to hand, so more than happy to fob off on. Such generous is friend Shore. Everyone in Caravan World know how Ino Ino run around hither tither, fighting to guard up on future and present. It highest honor for it. How do you think I feel having to read it out loud? It highest honor for any Napon to be able to render assistance. Oh, friend Sunny. You know, feeling such excess of happy might break into dance at any moment. Chance of dance. Sunny must join you, know, you know, in frolic. Oh, dearie me, then Shirio also cut rug. DJ Pawn, play a tune. Sparks and embers. <sighs> uh, you know, do you think we could maybe shelve the celebrations until we're finished with the cylinder business? Meh, yes, Master Pond, makes sense. You know, I almost forgot in self in motion. It hasn't even been a minute. Master Pond, we hurry him out. Let's get friend Totoma to look at Cylinder. I hope everyone's getting along. <laughs> Hi. Uh. Could we have a minute? We were wondering if you could help us out. This is a bad improvement to HD Cylinder Plus. That, that right exactly so would friend undertake. Give here. What was it they needed again? It all done! HD Ether Cylinder Plus successfully powered up! Alright, I'm glad that worked out. Thanks much, Master Pond, but ma matter is far from finish. You know, must collect much more high ether for purposes of restore self to full power. For sake of bring peace and happiness to knob on everywhere. Yeah, I know that. If we happen across any more ether spheres, we'll be sure to collect the high ether for sure. And if we can get all the materials together, we can have the cylinders improved here again. Indeedly doodle! Ina would be most grateful. HD ether cylinder plus improved. You can now gather more high ether. <sighs> Quest complete. The HD ether cylinder plus model was upgraded without a hitch. Totoma also seemed willing to upgrade it further, provided you could supply the materials. Show Totoma HD ether cylinder plus. What are we giving them? At least her design is adorable, minus the weird neck. Mm, Totoma improved. HD ether cylinder plus reach version 3.0. I probably don't have anything what else. Sienna. Just told me I need mechanical materials from Bentalis and Kevis Castle regions to improve. And also from some from Cadencia region too. Well, maybe we'll head out there at some point. Should probably actually use this rest spot. Yeah, you can't always give a hundred percent. We're on his hulks. Let's catch up on stuff. Seems Millic Meadows isn't the only place with a rusted out Veronis, huh? Yeah, if I had to guess, I'd say they're scattered all over Ionius. What bothers me is how total they all are. Surely that that can't be standard practice, right? Veronis has come in different flame clock ranks. If they aren't used to their strength, the defeat can be crushing. People in transportation of a Veronis also comes with costs. Leaving it to rot on the field can sometimes be the simplest. And then it turns into a monster breeding ground. Man, that makes my blood boil a bit. But even abandoned, they can contain a wealth of supplies. I think they'll prove useful on our journey. For sure, if we see one anywhere, we should make an effort to check it out. I didn't see it, milk. Shut the fuck up. Uh, stop. Adjust party. I want to keep Noah as an attacker. I want him to level up Flash Fencer. Mio is doing okay as a healer. Uni needs to not be Heavy Guard. I'll make her a Zephyr. Nothing's getting past me. Um, there's nothing wrong with having two of the same class. 
I don't have any other healers, so I, I'll, I think I'll leave Tyon as also a Zephyr. Lance is not a good tactician. But I don't think he's a good medic gunner either. No, not even close. And Senna can stay sword fighter for now. After he levels up Flash Fencer, I'll probably make Noah a Neponic Champion. Also, accessories, because you weren't here when I went over them. Yeah. You can have the Nopon Strap. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, the one she has is actually better. Oh, no wonder you still have the bonnet choker on. Oh my god, that makes so much sense. No wonder the fucking tanks can't keep aggro! Tyon had aggro reduction on! Oh my god. Oh, this makes me so angry. Uh... I'm so mad. Gonna refer to the poor gear manager. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Arts. Fuck air fang, I'm a glow ring. take the extra days. God, I feel so f much better knowing what the fuck the cause was. I thought it was just bad party comp. No, turns out I'm just an idiot. How'd I miss? I mean, I never said it was new. Uni is fucking dying. Uni is fucking dead. Oh, somebody fucking died. Oh, no, they can't. Cause Lance is the healer and Lance is in his fucking Ouroboros. Goody. I'm dead. Lance is dead. We're all fucked. So oh. Oh. Oh, this is a problem. Okay, bye. Okay. Um, so... I realized something. I'll provide the perfect defense. He needs to be. <laughs> he 
Yeah, he needs to to, to be the time uh, the lands class. You know why? Because nothing else has topple. <sighs> At least the menu music is decent. Why it's that? Sure. Overfall. Not terrible. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> Maybe with a little bit less fucking up? Because now we can actually topple. All of the tanks are in the- okay, never mind. Tyana's has gone. Mio's fucking dead. Why? Now I'm dead! What the fuck? Mio's fucking dead. I'm fucking dead! Okay! Run like a bitch! Okay. Okay. All right. I'll take point. I'm going to play as a healer. The only way is through together. Time to get serious. Here we go. I forgot to go. I'll make this quick. Move it all. Got to make me. We have 3 tanks and somehow the fucking healers keep pulling the aggro from the tanks of which there are 2. Just, I don't understand how that works. Sion's gonna fucking die again. I'm gonna fucking die again. Someone gotta rank up. Didn't quite see who though. Why are people targeted on me? Whom's to the fucking? Oh lord. Oh lord. A level up would be great because the level up is a full heal. <gasps> Fuck. Oh shit. Run. God. Fuck. Christ. How did I not get any level ups from that. Like, what? This is now just pissing me off. 
Okay. Uni. Oh boy. Okay, there's my full heal. Where the fuck was that last time? Okay, who's being targeted that should not be getting targeted? Mio, you need to back off. Mio, you need to back off! Oh. Somebody topple. Tyon, you have my topple. Why are you not toppling? Mio's fucking dead again, by the way. Christ. Okay, this is going terribly. Surely. One random buff, please. And area heal on hit. Unblockable percent knockback. Oh my god, that was annoying. There's a lot of desert. I don't think the main story ever takes us here, either. There's just a lot of stuff here. That is a trap. Wholeheartedly, that has to be a trap. Like, there's no way that's not a trap, right? I'll handle this. I mean, we could try it. I don't regret this, but whatever. Yep. Okay, it's fine. Double. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, we're fucked. Uh-oh. This is our way out. Okay, run. And <laughs> all the dead bodies are teleporting to us. Brilliant. Oh, he's still following. Hmm. Struggling. We struggle in a lot. Yeah, fuck that. I'll come back later. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Let's take on something that I have a chance of beating. Please. For my own <laughs> sanity. Here we go, guys. Right on. Make sparks fly, Noah. Come on. 
Mm. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. What is everybody's ranks? Senna's at rank 5. Noah's at rank 5. If only you didn't charge off on your own. Oh god, that thing is level 55. Topographical info. Raptor perch. I see a cave, possibly? Kinda wanna see what that's about. And also should probably, uh... That's a thing, isn't it? It's probably the other reason that Noah keeps getting, uh, aggroed. Hmm. Didn't think about that. Okay. Milio Trick Caverns. Get some heals going. Because, my god, I don't have much. Mew only has 800 some odd HP. No wonder she's been dying so easily. Dear god. I'll take a quick regenerating, please. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Someone gotta rank up. And I was the MVP. You're all thinking it. Actually, I wasn't, but okay, continue. What is this now? 
Oh, I know what this is. Unknown trick devices. Some doors are fitted with special trick locks and will only open if you can solve their puzzle. Use L and R to turn the left and right eyes. The objective of the puzzle is to get a red piece onto each of the green spaces. This one is not too hard. Now what's inside? That is the question. And how did these fucking arachnos get in here? As long as one of the three tanks has the aggro, I don't care. It's just when the <laughs> rest of the party starts taking it that it becomes a problem. You know? Because, <laughs> like, shit, dude. It would be great to have a, uh, a tank have the aggro. You know, the people who can either take the hit or keep their attention and dodge the hit. Would be Fucking phenomenal. set up this way because there's a pawn arachno evasion up Yeah, I pretty much spent a lot of my first playthrough giving everybody <laughs> Noah's sword fighter ability and just uh, giving everybody a turn so that they can learn the shadow eye technique. Is this thing perfect evasion arting me? Fucking jerk. Okay. Hey, lads. Thank you. You mean it missed? Yeah, fuck you. Monster conquered. I'm the going to go. I hate that voice line. Okay. Sit back down. Head the other way. Because it looks like there is something there. What it is, I have no idea. But there is something. Two more elite monsters. Cool, cool. That's a dead guy. Such is the Opsia's duty. He actually pulled out his flute. I'm genuinely surprised.
genuinely surprised. Okay. This mother... Okay. Let's make sure we're on the side. Double. Days. Let's go. Wish they would have waited a second longer. On the days, but you know. Can't ha can't win them all. Cannot win them all. Lance, come here. Dunk. One more elite monster defeated. Sleep him for a split second, interrupt his shit. This is not even worth wasting the chain attack on, is it? Probably not. Cool. Door open. But let's grab our shit first. Let's do breakfast, yeah? Gotta keep our strength up. Okay. Hello, caterpillars. Oh god, how big is this cave system? Hey, this one means business. My god. Good God. Seriously, Noah? Just use your talent art. Alright, let's head this way first. There's a container. Along with wait 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 wait. Never mind. They want to fight. Okay, we'll fight. Surprised nobody has launch currently, other than a talent art. Who even has it? Uh, nobody actually. So, straight up, nobody has launch. So, I have no reason to keep Saber Strike on right now in this current team comp. Huh. Honestly, just just use your talent art on cooldown, to be honest, Noah. Shall we? 
Oh, now you go for topple, you jerk. Okay, this one I'm gonna chain attack. Honestly, just go for straight damage. Okay. Uh, b -b 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 you. Now, Tyon, if you could just get in the uh, regen spot, that'd be great. Phenomenal, even. Overkill. Give me that bonus XP. <laughs> And there goes the regen pod. Fine. It's totally not annoying. Totally not annoying at all. You know? Really? Didn't get a level up from that. Okay. Very weird, but fine. I mean, I guess I'm not complaining, but, like, it is a little weird. Damn, you know, straight up in their face. Okay, I'll take a big heal. Anybody who wants regen, come to the circle. thing die game okay. kill dear god okay container I like how she just kicks it Your gemstone, ooh. Whatever that means. Honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> Second thing gonna aggro me? No, cool. 
I'm going the wrong way though. I want this way. Nothing is aggroed on me. Cool. Leave me alone for a minute, guy. Please. Thank you. Oh goody, another puzzle. Okay, let's figure this out. Done. That was not too bad. Question is, what's at the other end of the tunnel? The, uh, secret tunnel, secret tunnel, secret, 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 secret tunnel. I'm waiting for the end, uh, <laughs> the thing that's going to cause me to die. Door. Sage's domicile. Berber. May you there tell your thoughts. What thoughts? Thoughts from experiencing masterpieces of Berber. Do these masterpieces happen to be those huge puzzle devices that open the doors on the way here? Oh, so friends did enjoy. Uh, did, did you make it so people could enjoy it? Berber did do that. Berber wants to share moments of excited delight with all peoples. Well, uh, excitement is one word for it. That most important thing. But Berber aware that this method unsatisfactory. Berber will give you a more thrill and spill experience to thrill seeker friends. Berber has hidden Napon coinage all over the world. And now Berber wants friends to find them and bring them back. Here is hint of hiding place. They are in mighty exciting places. Of course, Berber has also arranged reward system. First bring 15 Napon coins. Oh, not to forget, it's coins of silver that Berber requests. The thrill of the hunt. Always nice to see a new face. Oh ho, a friend's already collected some. Right now, wings of Berber, all dirty Napon coins get covered in sand of touch. Friends should give Napon coins to Seek Seek. Seek Seek will reward handsomely. Okay. Mr. Pond Berber, bring Seek Seek up to date. First secretary, Seek Seek, taking over all Napon coin receipt duties in place of very busy Master Pond. Friends know that Napon coins sum in gold and silver. Friends can exchange number of Napon coins for reward. So then, Seek Seek has prepared reward for bringing Napon coins. So when ready, give Seek Seek shout. Always nice to see <gasps> what you got? Oh, accessories. Oh. 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 Ooh. I need 30 gold coins for that, ugh. Memory Locket allows reviving allies even when not in a healer role. 99 gold coins, ugh. It's not going to make exchange. Wanting more coins, best bet is seek out containers with not on markings. Yeah. Huh. Would you believe it? Like this one? Oh my god, hang on. This is the one. I think this is the one. Oh my god. I spent a lot of my first playthrough seeing a ledge and wondering how the hell am I supposed to get there? 
and I could not for the life of me figure it out for a long time. I think that was the one. Bloosh? Nope, it's not deep enough. Well, Uni's was deep enough. And I didn't say that. Okay. Up down. That wasn't even the ether channel that I saw on the map, huh? Don't tell me it's up there. God, that'd be a huge dick move. Okay, there it is. Cool. Better not spill any of this. Okay. Oh my god. All that aside, let's finally go attempt to... What is this? Challenge battles. Oh. Let's finally start to progress the main story. Like we had planned to do like three hours ago. Oh, and actually, before we do that, there's one more thing. Gotta go up this. Is that not actually a path up? It looks like it should be. Kind of is? Not really? Oh boy. Oh boy. I already see where this is going. Do you remember? This is the exit to the short route from the Faunus region. The one I suggested. There's a colony up ahead, right? Yes. How the hell do I get up there? This is our first time here, isn't it? Dia's Arch. Hi on. Yes. I'd really hoped it would turn out to be nothing. Ah, it seems someone else got here first. That gear must be a high rank colony. Slay the Ouroboros where they stand! I love to see you try, mate! Well, here we go again. You know, when I said, oh, we're going to progress a main story, I was not planning on getting into six different diversions. I promise. I was planning on getting Eno and then progressing the story, not finding a side cave and exploring that, dying against a bunch of guys several times, and then, uh, you know, Stumbling across another side quest. Just, uh... Ugh.
Oh shit. God damn. That one's wearing a scouter. Your caution dulls your insights. Your crude fighting wastes almost all your potential. And you... Good judgment, but you're a bad quitter. Just as I'd heard, sadly. I knew it. Colony Iota. I've heard about them. I bet you have. Commander Alexandria is famed for her keen wit. How dare you take Dame Alex's name in vain, scum! We've committed no crimes. I suppose you can prove that. Well, proving a negative isn't really possible. But what you think you know isn't the whole truth. You know you, fucker. Dame Alex! Senna! I'm so there! Sorry to go off book on you folks. Snuff. That's enough. It will suffice for this little trial. You struggle for your lives in vain. Uroboros criminals. Those lives will be mine. This I swear. We ain't done shit. There are a bunch of morons just as we'd heard. And rude to boot. Indeed. But that might make for a fun reception. What you think you know is not the whole truth. Huh. I do hope you'll tell. Jesus Christ, Looks Jordan. Like we managed to lose them. Uh, what in Her Majesty's ever-loving cheekbones just happened back there? Simply put, our foes were well-versed in the art of war, though their methods were inelegant, to say the least. Inelegant, like war's ever pretty. They're efficient at stockpiling combat rewards. That's how they managed to climb to silver rank already. I heard they even share their supplies with other colonies. That seems kind of awesome. Sharing supplies? Why would they do that? It would prove beneficial in the long term, I think. Creating debts to strengthen ties with other allied forces does open up your options, insofar as battle tactics are concerned. And if that leads to better results in combat, you can get your hands on even more goods. What I'm getting here is that they're trouble. Yes. And to make matters worse, Alexandria herself announced that they will come for us again. I bet us traitors would net them a hefty reward, huh? So how about we turn the tables on them? Punch their lights out! Listen to yourself, you doofus. We're talking silver here, yeah? Well, whatever we choose to do, here's something to bear in mind. Colony Iota's commando group is made up of four units. Regardless of the precautions we take, we have a high chance of encountering them. We should consider our approach carefully. Well, in that case, in terms of sheer power, they're the ones with the advantage. We should avoid a direct confrontation. If we could just dismantle those commando units, it would help lower the colony's capabilities. And it might give us an opening to strike? Yeah, if it comes to that. But it basically allows us to avoid fighting as much as possible, right? 
I like that plan. No objections from me either. Personally, I'd hope we don't even meet them. We got new folks on the map. Oh, okay, that does not even begin the quest. Okay. I guess we should just head to Elsie's spout then. Tie on? We got new folks right. on the map. There are a lot of resources on the way, but I'd ask that we keep detours to a minimum. There's a million things marked on our map right now. Both quest and otherwise. We got new folks on the map. Got new folks on the map. This was a nice find. Well, we've been found. Listen. I'm doing the story now. Finally. Some relationships changed. All you hear are police sirens. Oof. New colonies on the grid. What do you mean, how did enemies spot us? We ran right by it. Of course it's gonna spot us. Big responsibility. Yeah, fuck them turkins. <sighs> Fuck them chickens. I hate them. But I need the knob on coins for Seek Seek. That is level 46. This thing is making my controller shake. That's how heavy it's hitting the ground. Oh, please. Stupid Arden. What do you mean I- Okay, at least one of us hit the break. Do enjoy vibrating controllers. Usually. I don't know if I agree with that one. Oh, I guess we're fighting the wolf too. Oh, there's another one. Stab it in the butt. Okay. Someone got to level up. Yeah, you need to die because I need that ether. Thanks. Whack. You gonna die. Okay, version 3.0. You know, 
One or more unharvested ether spheres detected. I have no idea where that is. And there's still so much map. Now we can make Eno even more campy. And let's get the regular ether as well while we're here. Shall we? Who's gonna give me the Nopon coins? The Agnes Squad? Cool, we're gonna help the Agnes Squad. Conclusion! We got more. Too easy. Come after me and that's what you get. <sighs> Wants me to cut to through the water? Yeah, fuck that. I wanna swing by this side to get the, uh, <laughs> the dead bodies. Not even facing him, Noah. This is our first time here, isn't it? Welcome to Maglia Ra Lake. I do actually want to go in the water because I do want that, whatever that is. Because shiny, I want shiny. Odd pointy shard. Is that really the first spot I can get up? I guess it is. Okay. We'll go over this way then. Some story progress. Only to get that hero. <laughs> Time to get real hungry now. Uh oh. Same here. I could eat a triple helping of bananas cooking right about now. Did you hear that stutter? That was weird. The game doesn't normally do that. And that makes it very concerning. Oh shit. I got hit. I'll take that. Hear that, Noah? Hear that, Noah? Hey, over there. We set up camp there, we'll have good visibility. Think it's time we took a break? Riku for one want to rest anyway. Relentless walking has left legs like numbed out sausages. Sausages indeed, mealtime is here. Sounds good. Let's go for it, I say. Should we rest in shifts? I could take sentry duty first. Ah, uh, Mimi, let me back you up on that. Okay. And let's take a break there. Mimi. 
Chinese. What was that, Sana? It's just, I was up all night thinking. Those guys are so selfish. Selfish how? You know what I mean. Every time we interlink, they're the ones taking the lead. And me, all I do is watch. Oh, that's what you mean. Tell me you don't think so too. Maybe not selfish, but like, hey, why didn't you move that way? And stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, right? So you'd prefer to take the race? I just want to do more. Like, pull my weight. You know? <laughs> That's so you, Senna. I think it's probably fine, though. They're just being protective, I think. Like what Noah said? Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm sure we'll get our turn. You sure? Yeah. Positive. At some point, yes. So much to see, huh? Not an official uh, rest spot, which is annoying. Because they put one of these. Where is it? Oh, it's under. Damn it. Yeah, no, fuck that. You shut your fucking face. Oh, there's a shortcut. Okay, now I'm not as angry. Think you operate it like so. Okay. Of course. Keep an eye out on the minimap. Kev's airdrop. How do we get there? Head out this way. Ignore all enemies. Go for airdrop. I want materials. I want thing. Hmm. Hope there's something useful here. Supply drop from Kevis. I'll need a hand here. Okay. Hey, that's a pretty smart move. Excuse you. <sighs> Don't worry, by the way. As much as I would love to keep Eno in the party all game, I, ne I do need to have the other heroes in the party at some point. So her time is technically limited. Take the attack up, please. Where? Directly below me? Directly below me. Oh, because it's a unique 
or not a unique, a uh, not unique, elite. It was an elite monster. That's why I played that music. I was like, why does it play the scary music? And not Kevis Battle. <laughs> Okay. Just gonna continue. And hopefully it turns day before I get to... ...the scene that I'm picturing. Hopefully. Because I feel like that, the scene that I'm picturing works a lot better during the day. Granted, I'm not super torn up if it's not, but... Other than a few selects that have set time of days, I do try to make... For, for both 1 and 2, I try to make it the right time of day for what I feel works best for the uh, cutscene, but... Uh, this one actually goes a little bit further and sets specific cutscenes to specific times of day. Which is helpful for cinematography, but uh, a little annoying for uh, previous games. Collectopedia. Oh god, where is that? There it is. We got it all as requested. We got it all as requested. Colony four, Alessandra. Some soldiers don't react well to seeds, so let's see how this fares. Where are these supplies coming from? I don't know. I swear, I just saw a bunch of Tyrkins surrounding something. It's fine. Elsie's spout is just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Yeah, up a cliff. I mean, Lance and Senna can climb this, but me, hard pass. Topographical info update. Come to Elsie's spout. Probably shouldn't be climbing up this one, huh? But this is the route Ethel told us to take. No question. Well, I guess that means... We'll just, uh, have to keep going then. Yes. Hey, Valdi, where are you? Huh? Outside the colony. Well, yeah, I know that. It's bad. The console's searching for you. Gotcha. Just make up something. Sorry, make up? Mecca. Every place we can climb from. I'll take a look around here. Okay, I'll check out over here.
Guys, get back! Well, time to fight. Sorry. Apology grudgingly accepted. Hey, are you Ouroboros too? Factually untrue. Manana is just Manana. Ah, that's a relief. I really didn't want to have to fight a knock on. Oh, Valdi, by the way, if I may. Mm, is pleas what are you guys doing? <sighs> you got beef with come on bring it <laughs> you can't beat me Here Bet. I come. well it's patrick's favorite thing the kind right hand we get to beat up a kid you might have trouble believing this but i was actually under leveled for this fight on my first playthrough. I don't know, you might have a little bit of trouble believing that. Strange Kevis soldier who called himself a Valdi. That, Patrick, that was the joke. I can't believe you didn't get the joke. Mystery Kev's unit. One of three. You didn't think factual information can be considered jokes. It, it all comes down to the manner in which it is said. That's why sarcasm is a thing. We'll be at the final area of Mario RPG and be level 15 somehow. I doubt it. This is technically a boss fight, so it's probably worth, the uh, chain attacking. Okay, that should be good enough. Oh yeah, this thing is fucking dead. Overkill. Yes. Yes. Ooh. 
Ooh, good shit. gonna put me over, so I want to do unis first. And... this one. Bravo! Look at that 500% bonus XP! to do it nothing to observe frame was structurally poor evident that driving wheel could not withstand torque the driving wheel you say i wonder if it's because it was upgraded from lightweight to a more heavy assault style did i mess up the handling but the armor had to withstand a charge i had to fudge the weight to keep a good turning circle You're absolutely right. I can't believe you could tell with just one look. Hey, would you teach me everything you know? Know of? Uh, who exactly are you? Oh, I'm Valdeth, Levinus Builder from Colony 30. I heard that anyone who defeats you gets a whole buttload of supplies from the castle as a reward. But, yeah, you won, so it's all good. Oh, yeah, everything's just hunky-dory. What the stuff are you playing at? Not playing anything. You're really a mechanic? From Colony 30? Who's the commander for that one again? Oh, yeah. That would be me. Pull the other one! Wow. Don't look so surprised. I did hear that Colony 30's commander was the greatest mechanic in Keves. Not sure I would say greatest. But I am bonkers about Levinus's. Baldi. Hey, Zet. What's up? Sorry, that's my line. The Levinus signal just cut out. What happened? Oh, it just got a bit bashed about. But everything's fine. I'll be back home soon. You're going back alone? Huh? I... I was just wondering how you expect to manage that. Oh. Oh, it's fine. The colony's not that far away. I'll just cannibalize these bits and pieces into a new levinus, quick as you like. That takes so much salvaging. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I can't do it alone. You think? I don't know it would come to this. <sighs> Guess we'll do your grunt work. All right, hit us. What's the shopping list? You'd really help me. Well, we're not going to leave you alone to fend for yourself. Thank you so much, large man. Landsman. I mean, lands. <laughs> then lands I shall call you. Let's get cracking. I'll send the likely sites for debris to your iris. Baldi has temporarily joined the party. Always nice to see a new face. We no longer have uh new colony data. Eno in the party. Unfortunately. Or fortunately. Who knows? I don't know, I feel like her squeaky voice is just a bit annoying. Is that 
So I'm not complaining having a different hero on us. Especially another he healer. Because, uh... 30 tanks are fine and all, but like... Having extra healing is always going to be better. What plan? We're ignoring it. <laughs> Welcome to the Terror Wastelands. What is this place? It's just where I stored some of the junk I've picked up. Can't keep it all at the colony. You know how it is. I see. So you're recycling the parts as you deem necessary? Yeah. The supplies from the castle just aren't gonna cut it. We have a lot of very particular mechanics, and a lot of requests from the pilots to boot. We even get commission to repair the Levnesses from other colonies. Seems like awful much effort for not much reward. Not true. We're having a blast with it. Our Nopon are all highly skilled, and our lieutenant has a good head on his shoulders. So... Uh, remind me. What was it we were trying to do again? Picking up parts. Oh, yeah, right. Well, for the body, I'd need... Ah, something like this. Yeah, that fits the bill. Is this guy really cut out to be a commander? No. He's a skilled mechanic for sure, but I imagine he gives his aides quite the headache. Loveness Auxiliary CPU. You remember Beck using Baldi quite a bit when you watched him. That's fair. Baldi is very good, especially in the early game. When we uh, get a chance to enter a chain attack, or actually I could just look at it in the menu. Valdi is a war medic, a healer class. Comes with Dispersed Bloodlust and Life Bearer, both at level 3. And his arts are Heal Bullet, which is AoE healing around the user. Trick Shot, which heals nearby allies when the art hits to a max of 100% of the healing power. And a Defense Up. Um, AoE field. He also comes with Cure Bullet, which uh, clears debuffs. And Surprise Beat, which boosts damage dealt to machines by 100. Uh, honestly, I'm going to keep him on his default arts because I like his default arts a lot. And then his uh, talent art is a big group heal. Not even AOE, AOE just all allies. Oh, he's very good in chain attacks, especially against machines. <sighs> I guess I never really went over Eno. It's fine. Ooh, Senna is almost ranked 10. So is Noah. Good. That means I can start changing their classes soon. Such is the officer's duty. Where you at, Noah? He has his flute. Sorry, I know we're meant to be collecting the parts, but, uh, I don't think I ever properly explored this area. So I want to just take a quick look around. Hello, Tyrkin. Can I ignore you for... Nope. Of course not.
start to see what the hell is going on. Tyon, why are you dying? Tyon, what the actual fuck? Mastered in art. That means he hit rank 10? Yup. Sinna is almost there. Okay, Noah, what do you want to be? I'll protect you. Go ahead, be a tank. Lustrous Spike. Boost damage up by 50% each time the character is incapacitated. Refractive Edge. Evades tax, also boosts aggro. Generated when using art by 50% at the cost of a low crit rate. Try Slash, which is break. Uh, dual Flash. Boosts aggro generated by arts by 50%. Sin is about to come off of Sword Fighter, so. Boosts aggro. To be frank, the arts that he has on to start are fine. As for these, that one's good. That one's not ter terrible. Trash out. From B. Hidden Thorn. Honestly, yeah. Skills! Critical strike is good. Yeah. Gems, you're a tank. You're specifically a two hand, two weapon evasion tank, so you definitely want that. You. Uh, yeah. Clothing, he now has the ability to access Flash Fencer. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So I'll have Senna be a healer. Probably take over the Medic Gunner. Yeah, I'll have Senna take over Medic Gunner. Well, maybe not. I'll figure it out. We can't leave it like this. Mio took out her flute. The game is getting better <laughs> about uh, making sure they have their flutes out for those. Also, because the game stuttered before, I'm going to actually save here and not add a uh, 
rest spot. Alright. We still need the Levness Endoskeleton and the Levness Self Charger. So let's go grab those real quick. Story is complete this quest. So. Don't have any choice. Is that what I think it is? I'll take these. I will say the game is lagging a little bit because of the rain. But overall the game still runs really well, so like can't say I'm complaining. Ah, there. I want the parts from that big guy. Which big guy? The Kavesi. Wait. The, the damage to the leg here. I, I fixed this not long ago. It was from another colony. Kaboom. Get it. So this is how my levenesses have been treated. Sorry to rush you, mate, but we don't have time to be standing around. Huh? What's happening? We're getting attacked. We are outlaws, so they've marked us all as a target. What? <laughs> See ya. Do what you gotta do. Let's get this over with. Oh yeah, I'm a defender. Fittingly, it is an Agni in class. Or it has Agni in arcs, at least. Levinus Self Charger acquired. Let's go grab this last thing. Huh. I hope you noticed, by the way. Either of you. I, I know he went to bed, but he said he will be, um. He should be watching from where he left off. Lily of the Sunny Valley. But, um... Hey, Hervin! Uh, the design of the outfit, as well as the, uh, the shape of the weapon, are very familiar if you've played Xenoblade 2. And that's all I will say. Alright, we're almost there. We just need the endoskeleton. A lot of guys here. Several of them are too low level compared to me to be worth Defense and evasion up. Very nice.
Got him. Oh, come on. Who target locked? Oh, we have three tanks again. Oops. Three tanks, three healers, one attacker. Oops. Uh, has Senna finished leveling up Sword Fighter yet? I see. I mean, I'll happily take a, uh, a target lock on the, uh, one of the other tanks, but it would also be great for me to have the aggro. Voldy in a chain attack, when chosen, increases TP by 50 if the enemy is machine type. Unfortunately, he is a healer, so limit on the tactical points, I believe. It still applies to healers. I think. Which is unfortunate, but, you know, what can you do? Overkill. Reactivation. Oh, I killed both my my only attacker actually. Oops. Oops. It's fine. Not bad, not bad at all. Unfortunately, it was one point away. Cool, reactivation 70. Nice. Easy heals. And here we go. 166. Bravo. Give me that bonus XP. Elite. Conquered. Everybody got a rank up. So, seeing all this levinous wreckage, that's how a battle always feels after. Just sad. Yeah, pretty tragic. 
Makes me want to fix them all right back up. Look here, you. Listen, I had this injury once. It really did a number on me, physically and mentally. That's what my master pond told me. Wait, master pond? Oh, it's no pond for a really great person. So anyway, my master pond told me this. Be a friend to all and an enemy of none. Be a friend to all? Yeah. I guess after that, seeing wrecked Levenesses got me thinking about stuff. A little elbow grease, and I could just get them back on their feet. My pals here wouldn't want me to give up on them either. <laughs> You're very sweet. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's just that, as a mechanic, you can't start getting moody just because something's broken. Not all wars are fought on the battlefield, right? That gauntlet. Valdi built it by self? This? My master pond gave this to me to celebrate my recovery. Caught your eye, has it? You want to see more? No. No special interest. <laughs> That's a lie. Come on. Don't be shy now. Riku is not shy. What I'm getting from all this is that you really like this master pond of yours, huh? Yeah. He was really harsh on me sometimes. But he was ten times the mechanic I could ever be. If compared Master Pon and Riku, who's most excellent? Hmm. Good question. I think that your friend here has a keen eye. You know, I would love to get to speak with him. Secrets of Riku are closely guarded. You don't say. <laughs> I can't wait. Friend even listening to Riku? Nope. Not at all. A little elbow grease, huh? I think I get how Valdi feels. Do exactly you as I say. You sure he doesn't just have Levnesses on the brain? Big responsibility. Okay, let's see. Sinners rank 10. Then it'd be a flash fencer. <laughs> Revolution Edge. Oh, easy. Wait. Bills. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, thank you for the attack up meal. And we go back. Hey, this one means business. You gotta face me. You can get the point. This is the one I want. Rude, but fine. Okay. 
Okay. That is a lot of AoE, or uh, buff fields. Up there. Which I'm pretty sure is where we fought earlier, so... Fine. Looks like they're coming over oh, here. leave me alone. Oh lord. <laughs> All right, up we go. Can I sneak by actually? I want to go I wish I knew this was here. Lands, are you okay? It it is night, is Thanks, it? Thanks, guys. Looks like all the parts are accounted for. This is enough to build Levness. What wrong, Valdi? Spirits seem middling to low. <sighs> I thought that with a Levness, I'd be able to protect my friends, that no one would have to get hurt. But. Just building them and fixing them up isn't going to make life rosy again. My pals just do as they're ordered. They go out, they fight, and they hurt people. And I'm the one responsible. If you're going to blame someone for causing all those casualties, blame me. Valdi is doing perfectly normal job of mechanic. Issue of orders, not your fault. But... This doesn't sit right with you, does it? So make something new. Why do you always have to make stuff for fighting? Why not try a different tack? A different tack? Like a levness, but not equipped for combat. Obviously, I don't know the nitty gritty, but I'm sure it's not totally off the table, right? This ain't the time to give up, right? <gasps> yeah. Lance, you couldn't be more right. I shouldn't be led by the whims of others when I make my sweet little mecca. Thanks, Lance. And all of you. I'll be back in a jiffy. It's done. Wow. All right. Fast, huh? It's looking a little on the small side, no? Is that how you wanted it? Yeah. He wouldn't last long in a real battle, but he can follow simple commands. Right now, his only directive is to take care of me. But that's just fine. He's a good guy. Right then. Guess our job here's done. So? Yeah, don't worry. I can get back home just fine on my own. Oh, Ganon Blast. And I came all this way. A consul. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Ouroboros. Ah, fear not. I have no interest in stirring the pot. I was simply curious as to why our dear Valdi hadn't returned. You promised us you would build the ultimate Levnis, did you not? How much longer do you expect us to wait? Ah. 
You excellent dogs. How I shall delight in crushing you beneath my boot. About that. Actually, I've decided to... How many times must I say it? Games are for winning. That's what matters. Consider, if we were to lose the initiative, we would be the ones trampled beneath their boots. Yes, but... <sighs> Valdi, my boy. Who was it that said he'd be fine? So long as he could tinker away with Lepnis's. Because I clearly remember those words. If you've got time to be flapping those lips, you've got time to be working those hands. Should you fail in your duty, I won't be held accountable for what happens to your friends in the colony. Snuff you, asshole! The more that comes out of your gob, the more I want to smack. Understood. I'm heading back. Valdi! Don't wow. worry. I've made up my mind. Ultimate Levness, he said. I'm a little worried now. It's unlikely to bode well for us. Ideally, we'd want to prevent it being deployed in battle. Oh yeah, there's that too. But I was more worried about how Valdi feels. He said he'd made up his mind. Doesn't sound like he's gonna be finishing his ultimate anything to me. More like... He wants to destroy it. going off on its own. It following Valdi, adhering to directive of protect. Noah. Yes, Follow. We're following it. Let's go. Now that a console is directly involved, we have to deal with this ourselves. Some relations have changed. So now we just have to follow Valdi's mini loveness back to Colony 30. Although I guess <laughs> the game doesn't outright say that that's where it's bringing us, but it is implied by the quest dialogues. All oh, right, we're missing Valdi. Probably fine. These mini loveness. Let's go. It's off. We're done. All right, let's go. Is this bringing us in there? This might be bringing us in there. Or no. Maybe I am full of shit. This was a nice find. All right. Any loveness? Show me the way. I've never been here before. I'm your guy. You you want me to leave? I'll take point. Business. Oh, 
This thing needs to piss off. I mean, so does this, but like... Three, seven, six, six, seven, one. Alright, so Mio and or lands are gonna be the next ones to, to finish. Come on, my guy. I think we're almost there. I hope we're almost there. There's no above, which means they are below. Which means not right now. Here we are. The entrance to Colony 30. Colony 30 Cave Mouth. Liberating colonies. Destroying a colony's flame clock will liberate them from their console's grasp. Doing so will deepen your affinity with colony citizens and give you useful affinity bonuses. You've wasted time. I'm afraid you'll have to pick up the pace. Because if you can't, well, you know the stakes. The game will soon resume. We have precious little time. If I do as I'm told, you're... You'll end up hurting so many people. Don't worry. I refuse to put you through that. The next time we meet, I'll make you into the best Levinus there ever was. So that's the game we're playing, is it now? <gasps> you little upstart! This is a case of falling in with the wrong crowd, isn't it? I'm very disappointed. It's about halfway to the projected schedule, but this will have to do. What are you going to do? I will have it achieve its intended purpose. But, first of all, I believe you need a little discipline. Rest in peace, Jason. I never wanted this. You weren't supposed to protect me like this. Lance! But how? Thank you, little pal here. Your buddy led us all the way to you.
Rest in peace. <laughs> Any tool that defies the orders of its master is trash! This is for the scrapyard. It's not trash! Levnesses have always, always protected the things I care about. I'm so small and pathetic. But they taught me that, that I'm worth something. That's why I chose to be a mechanic. Not this. Not for something as sad as this. Why should you care about a hunk of metal? <laughs> If you oppose me, I'll do away with you. Full stop! Quit your yapping and let's get scrapping! Incomplete siege love. Console Q is probably my least favorite, because he's an asshole. Settle for a defense. Oh, you know what? Both is perfectly acceptable. This is our first major boss that uh, is going to take quite a while to beat. Can I get a top of all? soon. Time for a chain attack. Any... Oh. Okay. There we go. <laughs> he resisted the break, though. Shit. Maybe I should have opened with Senna. You're in for it now. Hmm. Okay, just in case. Bravo! Bullet hell. Bravo, reactivation. Let's 
go with Mio. And then Valdi. Yeah, unfortunately it's on a healer. Amazing! But that healer just happens to be a, uh... A hero, so... Heroes do not, in fact, hit the point limit as healers. Three-person reactivation, that's really good. Give me a break. He resisted. Of course he resisted. Why wouldn't he? Okay. 159. Bravo. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay. I'll open with Noah and attempt another break. And then we'll use lands to hit the point limit. And then we'll use tie on. Crash out? I guess. That was not the play, but it's fine. 870% damage, though. That's pretty good. No effect. Is he just outright immune? Oh my god, Tyon is about to die. It's fine. You know, I'm... Please stop getting knocked out of range. Christ, Noah. My Christ. Give me all the evasion, please. We're gonna have a second chain attack. I just want you to know. Okay, at least it is, in fact, another of the tanks. I mean, three tanks, two healers, one attacker is not a terrible build up. I'm in the range of all of the, uh... Chain attack time! Let's go! Round two, baby! I should have opened with Senna. Fine. Fine. 
Cool. I'll take a tie on. Good shit. I'll take a that. Uh, sure. Target lock. Resisted. Whatever. Crash out overfall. Resisted the sleep. That's fine. Cool. chain attack was not as good as the last. Not even close. Fine. Annoying, but fine. Bravo! Can I... No. Okay. Fuck it. Oh shit, you toppled me, you whore. One random buff party. Oh, everybody deformed at the same time. Got him. Rest in peace. I'm sorry. I I couldn't do anything. I wouldn't say that. At the very least, this little guy got to live the way you wanted him to. Well, I sure hope so. Thanks. For rescuing me. Next time I'll be sure to give you a tougher body, Mecha friend. Mecha friend. Got to have a name, right? Call him Jason. Guys are meant for battle. He's a fellow companion and a friend. So yeah, thanks guys. I'm not gonna focus my efforts just on repairing Levinus's anymore. I'll be working hard to figure out the best way to protect us all, in the truest sense. Oh, but, uh, I guess that'd mean doing something about all our flame clocks, huh? About that. We could always smash Colony 30's flame clock. It'd mean that everyone in the colony wouldn't have to fight anymore. The Levnus is too. You can do that? Yes. We can. Why do you think the consul hate us? That things will go smoothly for you after, though. I wouldn't say things are going particularly great as they stand anyway. If I can make a difference for people, and not just Levnuses, let's do it. Let's make this happen. All right. Here we go. Flame clock destroyed. Colony 30 liberated. Kev is warning level up to level 3. It really broke. Hey, you 
okay there? <sighs> Wait, don't move a muscle. There might be some valuable materials lying around. Nothing worth bothering about, believe me. How are you feeling? It's got a sting, right? It was a big deal for you. Lance, you seem more stung than me. Come on, man. No. I'm fine. I mean, sure. It's a big change of perspective. But like I said before, I'd already made up my mind. True that. <laughs> hey, um... Could I help you guys with your mission, in return? It'd be the least I could do. Valdi realized what Valdi's saying. I've never been more sure. For sure! Thank you. We appreciate it. Looking forward to it. <laughs> me too. Count me in. So, that's Colony 30's flame clock we've busted up now, too. Yeah, if we keep this up, I bet you the consoles are gonna get real up in arms. We'll be lucky if that's all that happens. What do you mean? I think we might not be the only ones in their firing line, is that it? Consoles see escape from the flame clock's dominion as an act of rebellion, then soldiers from the liberated colonies might be in just as much danger as us. And it looks like we can't just smash their clocks and leave them to it. We could defend them all, I'm sure. With the power of Ouroboros on our side, there's nothing we can't do. Yeah, no, see, there's still only six of us. We can't be everywhere at once, right? Well, but even if we can't protect everyone at all times, we could certainly at least help them out in various ways. Oh, like we did at Colony 4? We may just... We may have a long road ahead of us. In a very real sense. So do they. I think it's important that we work together to forge bonds of trust and cooperation. Yes, well, that's all well and good. But I can hardly imagine them opening their hearts and souls to us that easily. Makes sense, though, surely. Anyone will clam right up if you come on too hard. Might be smartest to keep an ear to the grapevine as we go. Make sure to talk with folks and keep up with the gossip. That way we might hear about any troubles they might have, or whatever, and discover things that we can help with. I like Uni's plan. It's simple and direct. Well then, no time like the present. Let's go and find some people to talk to at the colony. Quest complete. The kind right hand. You've inherited a traversal skill from Baldi. Wall climbing. You can now climb up and down certain walls. New hero added, War Medic Valdi, with the class inheritor, Lands. Class War Medic, Roll Healer, boasts incredible healing ability. With one in the party, your medical needs are all but guaranteed to be met. This is a traver wall climbing is a traversal skill that Valdi taught the party. Do you climb up walls even without the use of ladders? Alright. Well, I'm going to call it here for the day. I'd like to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys for the next one, where we finally make use of that wall climbing ability. See you then. Machine!